Hey, church family, what's going on? It's Pastor Hassan. It's Friday morning, and here's our word for the day. And so I just want to offer you a quick word from the book of Job, chapter 42, and the first six verses. Here's what God's word says there. Then Job answered the Lord and said, I know that you can do all things and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Who is this that hides counsel without knowledge? Therefore, I have uttered what I did not understand, things too wonderful for me, which I did not know. Hear, and I will speak. I will question you, and you make it known to me. I had heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye sees you. Therefore, I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. And so what you have here is the, the other side of Job's uh, encounter with God, where after all of his wrestling with his suffering, the Lord comes to Job and essentially sets him straight about his perception of how things were going around him. And so Job is, after being put in his place by the Lord, the Lord reminds him, like, where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? And uh, the, the point of that whole dialogue is for Job to see that, that God is God, God is sovereign, he's in control, and, and Job is not. And in the same way, brothers and sisters, we are to recognize in the face of our suffering and struggles um, that very thing. And it seems like a really basic, it is a very basic biblical truth that God is God and we are not. And his ways are not ours. Um, but we often, um, that, that doesn't sit well with us. Like we want to be in control. We want answers. We want things uh, to always make sense. But what uh, this text impresses on us is that in the midst of our suffering and struggles, where we often want to know, okay, why is this happening? Uh, what, what the scriptures would have us focus on more than that, more than the why, is focuses, focusing on God. So instead of focusing on why, focus on, on him and, and remember who he is. And so notice again how Job starts out the text. I know that you can do all things and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted, that, that God can do the impossible, that God does whatever he wants. No one can stop him from doing his thing. And as his people, we can rest assured that he is committed to making us more like Jesus, even in the midst of our suffering. He is, he is dedicated to our good, even when everything around us is going horribly wrong. Even when our lives feel bad, God is committed, fiercely committed to our good and to our ultimate good, which is making us like Jesus. And so we need to, brothers and sisters, we need to more and more align our thoughts and desires with God's thoughts and desires. And, and so instead of focusing on the why and, and trying to have neat, tidy answers to everything and, and make sense of everything, let, let's focus on the who, um, the, the sovereignty of our, our great God. And remember that, that our Savior um, is no stranger to suffering. Um, in the in the face of our suffering, let, let's remember that as well, that, that we have a Savior who endured um, hardships beyond anything that we can imagine at the hands of uh, men and then ultimately in his death on, on the cross. And so he did that for us. He walked through suffering all the while and trusting himself to the one who judges justly. And so we have, let's arm ourselves with remembering who God is and remembering what our Savior has done as we walk through difficult seasons of life. And I'm just going to leave you with this. Notice what Job says in verse five. He says, I had heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye sees you. Therefore, I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. Job is brought to a point of repentance when he not just, okay, I heard certain things about God and how he is, but when he actually experienced God in the midst of his suffering. 
And so, brothers and sisters, let's let's lean into that and press on to know the Lord, even in the midst of suffering. All right, y'all take care and have a great day. Lord willing, we'll see you on Sunday when we get together um, in person at 1045. All right, God bless. Take care.